I'm going to ask you a simple question and I hope you got the right answer. Can we measure the pocket depth clinically? Yeah, we can measure it. It is easy procedure. Just to bring your predental probe, insert into the, the gingival sulcus and take the distance between the base of the pocket and gum margin. This is what we call typically a male practice. This is absolutely wrong. Why? Because we don't know how to stop at the base of the pocket. We don't know where is the base of the pocket. We can't stop at the base of the pocket. For that reason, we can't measure the pocket depth clinically. That's why in the periodontal literature they use another term. Rather than pocket depth, they use histological depth. This is this is what we call histological depth. To measure this to measure that distance, you must take histological section. We can't measure it clinically at all because we always, we always pass that point. But you may ask yourself, what we measure with the periodontal probe, we measure the clinical depth. As in this case, we measure clinical depth or probing depth. If you look closely to that image, as in this case, this is the base of the pocket. And this is the gum margin. The pocket depth or histological depth is that distance. But, unfortunately, we pass that point. We can't stop at that point. We stop right here. So that distance called probing depth distance called histological depth or pocket depth. Probing depth is always longer than histological depth because we always pass that point, especially in patients with periodontitis. The, ginger, the epithelium attachment and connective tissue attachment are severely damaged so that you easily pass them. And if look closely to that image, if you notice that the periodontal probe is much beyond the base of the pocket so that this may give you a false impression. Under normal circumstances, the discrepancies between examiners is about 2 mm. And here is the literature. We always pass that point, even in, in normal patients. Carefully, my patient with, with periodontitis. So that to conclude this presentation, the histological depth cannot be measured clinically. It is only measured histologically. You must take a histological section and measure that distance. While probing depth, it is the distance between the gum margin to which the probe penetrate into the pocket. If you need more information regarding that topic, I really recommend you to have this book. There is a lot of data regarding the histological and the probing depth. If you have any questions, just write it down and I will be pleased to answer them. Thank you for watching.